Number one, you are never going to guess what these caterpillars will turn into. I mean, if you were really smart and knew this stuff, you wouldn't be watching my channel, right? Exactly. Just kidding, simps. I love each and every one of you. And you were in fact watching the life cycle of one of the rarest species of moon moths available in the hobby. Don't believe me, keep watching, because these Gorgeous caterpillars eventually spin cocoons and pupate and turn into an awesome moth. It's the pink spirit moth, Actios rhodopneuma. All jokes aside, this moth right here is incredibly rare and not many people have ever raised them in captivity. But of course, I, Bart Coppens, have studied their life cycle because I am the best. I have no achievements in my life because I'm a loser, so I pretend that raising a rare moth species is a big deal to inflate my sense of self-worth. Wow, it's working! What a chad I am! Wow, Bart is amazing! This species is found in tropical Asia and is one of the only few species of moon moth with a bright pink color. Beautiful! Oh, oh, dang, it's recording. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I um, have to show you the life cycle of these weird, crazy caterpillars. Can you guess what they are before they turn into moths? Let me give you a hint. This species is found in temperate Europe, Asia and parts of North Africa. Their caterpillars are absolutely bizarre looking, but they have another hidden talent. They can spit acid in order to blind their enemies. Don't believe me. Let me show you. Oh my god. Believe it or not, that was acid spray. And they can point it at your eyes in order to blind you. And then they spin tough cocoons and hibernate, only for next spring to transform into Serula vinula, also known as the Pus moth. These moths are often said to be one of the world's cutest moth species and are celebrated by the internet. They only have a short lifespan, unfortunately. This is going to be an insane and crazy life cycle of a moth that comes from tropical Africa. Africa has some mysterious giant moth species and we like to document all their life cycles for science and education. Yay! And trust me, we need education. Without education, you would struggle. Otherwise, you will grow up to become an influencer, possibly the worst nightmare that exists. Please don't try to be a YouTuber, a TikToker, or an Instagrammer. All it takes is views, a few likes, a few subscribers, to convince you that you are some kind of micro-celebrity, just to make sure you never leave their website and keep uploading thousands of videos for very little financial gain. Oh well, joke's on me. When the caterpillars grow up, they eventually pupate. And from the pupa moths hatch, they become the golden African emperor, Nudarelia Dione. These tropical African moths are incredibly gorgeous. Not many people think about moths, sadly, but they are actually beautiful, important, complex and extremely underrated animals. That's why I started this YouTube channel. Hopefully one day more people will realize that moths deserve respect, deserve conservation, deserve to exist and deserve to receive attention. This is something no one else has filmed before. Because no one really cares, honestly. It's not that special. I mean, if the life cycle of a moth was this important, more competent people would have filmed it instead. <laughs> but they haven't, if you think about it. I'm constantly farming breadcrumbs and scraps and marketing them as more important than they are. My life is empty. Incredibly empty and lonely. When these caterpillars from tropical, tropical Africa grow up, they become quite fierce. They are also known as cobra caterpillars because they can strike you with a row of sharp spines on their back. These guys are very aggressive. Let me show you what happens if I poke it. Poke, ow! Ow! It's attacking me with these red hairs. I don't know if you can see it, but those red hairs here are actually spines. Can you see it? They're like splinters. And if we touch the caterpillar, boom! It's just going to try to ow, attack us like a cobra. Man, they're ferocious. Ow! 
Oh my god, it's from it's actually biting. Dude, I swear it's biting. But when they grow up, they turn into moths. This is the African leopard moth known as Gelada imitans. And their camouflage is very unique. They remind me of a dead leaf or a stick. In the vegetation, there is no doubt that they are hard to spot. I researched the life cycles of moths in the tropical rainforests of Brazil, and I documented the life cycle of this species. All jokes aside, I'm pretty serious about butterflies and moths, I just use my humor to catch your attention. It is one of the species of fruit piercing moths, and their larvae are so incredibly colorful, look at how gorgeous it is. I found the caterpillars of this species on Anona, also known as sugar apple. I was super happy to find this super beautiful species right here, and I raised it into a moth. Can you guess what kind of moth it will evolve into? Wow, it's a mini species of fruit piercing moth. Its name is Gonodonta filfangula, and it is found in Mexico, Panama, Venezuela, French Guiana, Guyana, Ecuador, Peru, Colombia, Brazil, Argentina, and Uruguay. How absolutely beautiful. Thank you for watching, babe. Now, subscribe for more. I made thousands of moth videos that you can enjoy for free on my channel to learn about these animals. Goodbye! <clears throat> oh yes. Is this still recording? <laughs>